Hi everybody, Jill from Thursday Grows here, we go get gardening slot. Um, just following on from last week when we had a wee quick chat about aphids, I just thought we would have a little quick chat about large cabbage white butterflies this week because um, there's quite a few of them flying about at the moment in the community gardens as well. So um, yeah, good wee time to just have a wee think about some of the pests and things that are out there <laughs> that are done to try and eat your... Uh, your crops and your harvest so um yeah large cabbage white butterflies then um small cabbage white and other butterflies have quite a similar cycle to this as well um but basically you just want to be looking out for these in particular on your brassicas okay um your cruciferous what are known as cruciferous plants these are your brassicas your cabbages your brussels sprouts uh, your broccoli your cauliflowers um, these are the host plants that these butterflies like and some of the weeds as well, shepherds, purseweed and wallflowers. If you grow wallflowers in your garden alongside your veg plot then you just want to be a wee bit careful there as well. So th those are your sort of host plants if you like. So generally speaking um, our adults are emerging round about April May time, sometimes a wee bit later, maybe a wee bit later up here as well. Um, and they'll uh, mate again after sort of two to three days and then after the mating of the adults here um, they disperse um, and they go off and the females of course will then go on to your leaves and they'll lay clusters of these eggs they're orangey yellow in colour they can lay between 20 to 100 um, and they're usually on the undersides of leaves as well so it's quite important to go and have a wee check through your crops and just check for them because uh, you can just again just kind of rub them off a wee bit at this stage as well um, these then hatch out usually about sort of 7 to 14 days later and they have um, these little what are known as instars they have four molts that they go through these instars um, and basically over the period of a month and it's recognisable of course as the caterpillar okay so these caterpillars will feed voraciously um, on your leaves for a good month okay and then they will then go and pupate in late spring June round about that now basically um, in late June and they'll find a crevice or a woody stem something that they've eaten all the leaves off and they can go down inside the stem um, and they're held on to its host basically by little silk threads so these are quite difficult I don't know if you've ever seen these but if you actually go and try and scrape these off it's, it's actually quite hard to get rid of them so the second generation then they emerge in July midsummer and then they become adults the same year and it's this lot that overwinter and carry forward to then reinfest all of your crops the following year okay so what do we do to get rid of these guys? There are um, basically several ways to do this. Try and get rid of the eggs as much as possible. Pick off the caterpillars. You'll actually actively see them. These kind of green, yellowy coloured caterpillars are really, really easy to spot once you lift the leaves up. So pick them off as much as possible. Dispose of them whatever way you want. Um, the birds will love you for them. So I tend to put mine on the bird table. Um, but get rid of them because they will do an awful lot of damage so it's just where it's really good to um, invite birds into your garden okay because they'll actually do a lot of this work for you as well there are um, biological controls again that you can get for these guys so you've got um, Cotesia clomerata is one of the parasitic wasps that we spoke about last week slightly different version but again one of these little wasps that will um, get rid of the caterpillars and the eggs and things for you then we have um, a nematode drench as well so there's also a parasitic worm you can get Steiner Nemar Carpocapsi is its proper name but again you can get that as a drench and apply that as a foliar drench onto your leaves and they then will infect the caterpillars and kill the caterpillars and infect the eggs as well so um, those are some methods that you've got to try and get rid of them and then the other thing which I'm just going to show you in a wee minute um, is the fine mesh that you get, stuff like EnviroMesh or even horticultural fleece just anything that you can do to stop these butterflies going on to these host ve uh, vegetables that you're trying to grow and then um, decimating your plants because they will 
completely decimate your plants. So here's a proper picture of the eggs, yeah, in that yellowy orange colour. There's a proper picture of the caterpillars that we can all recognise, and then of course the adults that we see flying around. And then here, this is just the Enviromesh that you can buy either from the garden centre or online. You can see how small that mesh is and therefore prevents the adults from getting in to your precious leaves and laying their eggs on them for the caterpillars then to just completely decimate them.